What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing some Legacy Cube drafts. Legacy Cube. Control magic? Oh, okay. How's the rapid decay of Western civilization trading? It's rough, man. It is something. <clears throat> I like Vindicate, too. Hmm. Hmm. Murderous Rider, Control Magic, and Vindicate are the three cards I'm looking at currently. Uh, considering it is 12.30, yes, Mike is not here. Mike is in asleep because he'll have to work tomorrow like he does every day. Um, what up, Super Fritz? I'm going to take... I kind of like just going black-white here. I bet if we take Murderous Rider, Vindicate Tables. That's my guess. I want to take Murderous Rider. And then I'm going to take Lingering Souls. Opposition Sweet. Hmm, let's take Lingering Souls. Oh, and Grave Titan? If Marsh Flat or Metamorph come back, I'll be pretty thrilled. But I think Grave Titan is better than just a Marsh and then a. A random metamorph. If that was a a bayou or a uh, godless shrine, I'd be more inclined to take it. I like a Gonti. All right. I'm liking all these picks so far. Come on, vindicate. What up, Kerwit? <sighs> Unfortunately, I do not have the technology to plant subliminal messages into his dreams yet. Jeeves, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. You are supposed to be sleeping, but that's okay. Now we're hanging out. No one's in the dog bed. Looking a little red today. That's a little better. Elspeth is nice. Packrat's also pretty sweet. Heartless Act is okay. I'm just going to stay for the draft and go to bed. Okay. You know what? I want to take Elspeth. I think Elspeth is stronger than Packrat. I mean, I think Packrat has more explosive potential, but I think Elspeth is just more consistent. So... What's in your head? Gaunty, Gaunty. Thank you. T Bombadil, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. How was the move? God, moves are so exhausting. The move itself was fine, it was a pretty smooth drive, no real issues at all. The unpacking and the unloading the truck is just the hardest and most exhausting thing you, you ever. Like, it's just... I just hate it. We donated for Mike Treats yesterday and that dang place ran out of corn dogs. It's true. Can we get a Mike B bed cam? And we could donate bucks for Mike B Treats. Wow. Wow. I think sometimes you guys forget that streaming is my source of income. Oh, Concealed Courtyard. I think that's better than Seeker, Bloodline, or Red Cap. Two cards are coming back. I'm going to take Concealed Courtyard. You want to make sure your mana is good. Look, we already have double black, double black, double white, double black. We have one card that does not have a double mana requirement here.
What's in your head? Soren. This is the worst Soren. I hate this Soren so much. My least favorite Soren. I think we're just taking Hero Blade Hold because this card wins games. Cast out's cool, but we might get either Conclave or Vindicate back. So. I wish someone was out getting the mail. And we haven't gotten mail since we moved in like 11 days ago. I'm really worried that it's going to get too full. Uh, what happens if your mailbox is too full? Do they just do they just crush your, your previous mail and just jam it in there? Does it go back to the post office? I don't understand. Uh, Day of Judgment and Language. Uh, Cavalier of Night actually seems pretty sweet. I'll take a Cavalier of Night. Oh, Vindicate didn't come back? Wow. Hater's gonna hate. That's that's a bummer. I think Vindicate's probably better than Murderous Rider. But I put my, my faith in the double colored card coming back because you have to be black white. And Vindicate tables a lot. But here we are. Uh, sword is probably better than anything else. It's a good sword. Marsh Flats came back though? You took a Vindicate but you didn't take a fucking Marsh Flats, you degenerate. Bane Slayer came back? Man, we got all the cards that I even considered. Oh, wow. Heartless Axe? Sure. Oh, Elspeth Conqueror's Death is nice. I really like Course of Portal as well. Hey, buddy, you like Ashiok? Marsh Flats leads to April Rats? I think I'm going to take Elspeth Conqueror's Death. This card's just very good. Gristlebrand. Oh, also Fracture Identity. We could take that and just splash it. I kind of think Gristlebrand is probably just the bomb. Moochel's Murder of Lil Wiggy. Wow, that's messed up, man. God, you'll never let him live it down. He's never gonna. He's never gonna have paid his price. Yeah, I'm gonna take Gristlebrand here. Oh, Nixilis. I think Luminous Broodmoth is great. I just don't think it's probably that great in our deck. Yeah, I'm going to take Abby. Um, I'm fine with Read the Bones. I mean, Drawing 2 seems fine. We have a lot of answers here. Murderous Rider, Heartless Act, Tribunal, Elspeth Conquers Death, Obnixilis. I think Magister's fine. I just don't think it's better than Gristlebrand. Like, I think if we're able to cast Gristlebrand... Like, if we get a uh, Godless Shrine or a uh, Scrubland, I think we're in real good shape. Oh, shoot. Dog bed's popping off, guys. Eh, Mind Shard is actually pretty decent. I like Tidal Scholar too, but I don't like that it can die. I don't like creatures that die. I, they probably have Phyrexian Obliterator because they have Grey Merchant, so... Grizzle, bre Grizzle Dad and Gravy Dad. Yikes. I'm gonna take this. Oh, Face Fetters? Face Fetters or Yogmoth? We already have Lingering Souls and Elspeth, which make tokens. I think Yogmoth has way higher upside here. Especially if we can get, like, Bitter Blossom. 
Oh, Galdas Shrine. Banging. Oh yeah. We're getting all we're getting all the goodness. I like it. I like a Gideon Black Blade. Play a mono black deck and a mono white deck. Current, I don't think I have the cards for it, buddy. <laughs> well, you know, it's not it's not looking good. I also could take City of Brass, but I don't love it. I think I'll just take Gideon here. I don't know if I want to play him, but actually he's pretty decent, right? Oh, what up, Arctic Avenger? Malicious Affliction is fine. Fairgrounds Warden and Mentor the Meek are not for us. Kripperger's kind of meh. I'll just take the removal spell. That cannot hit... Oh, Magister came back. Fascinating. But... Actually, we'll take Relic. Did that strange lady ever find Barry? No. Not to my knowledge. Actually, she may have. I can't say no specifically because I have no idea. <clears throat> um, I'm take the only card I would play in my deck. What up, Adam? Good seeing you, buddy. We are still in the same time zone, my dude. Even though this is quite late for me. Oh, Tidehuller came back. Because of course he did. Brightling came back. Ilharg, y'all got no respect. Our sideboard actually has a bunch of cards we could even play. Sword, Spectral. <sighs> Verdant Catacomb actually gets Godless Shrine, and if we get Tundra, it gets that as well. I don't really care about anything else. Toxic Deluge is decent. Ophiomancer is actually pretty good with the Ogmoth. I think I'd rather have the Ophiomancer. I've been playing the Arena Cube and just getting dunked on? That does not sound like you, my dude. I'm going to take Ophiomancer. I would love <laughs> some sort of ramp in this deck. I feel like we're missing that. I don't think we need more 5 drops. I think it's actually Duress here. I think having some hand disruption could be very, very good for us. If we go this into this, that's pretty decent, right? I haven't actually tried the Arena Cube yet. Delta? Seraph? Oh, Swords of Plashers. Seems obvious, right? This, this pack is actually great. Swords, Delta, Mentor, or Seraph? I could definitely see there being too big of a power difference, especially because of the cards that are on Arena. Yeah, I'm taking Swords here. Swords, OP. Council's Judgment? Also OP. Also OP. <clears throat> well, we did not get a Scrubland yet, so. Badlands, Drowned Catacomb, Scalding Tarn. None of these are any good. Fiend Artisan could be decent. I'll take Fiend Artisan.
What's in your head? Michael B. Oh, I love a wretched confluence. Garuda could be good. We have Hero, Gonti, Yogmoth, Grave Titan, Magister, Gristlebrand. I kind of like Garuda here. Ugh, wretched confluence is so good, though. Do we need another 5 drop, though? I guess it's better than a 6 drop. Ink Eyes. <laughs> I'll take Garuda. Um, we could probably do an Arena Cube. Maybe not tonight, though. I don't know if I want to do it tonight. But I think we could do it probably before it goes away. When does it leave? Do you guys know? I'm going to take Wrath of God. I like having a Wrath effect. I don't actually give her runes as great in our deck. I like Gideon better because we kind of have like a big fat idiot deck. Condemn is fine. Wow. I'll take history. It might be better than some of our... It might be better than, like, Gideon. What? Come on. Wow, we have so many cuts to make. I think Mentor is a little better. Mentor is probably a lot better. Jeez. This is wild. Oh my god. I was actually hoping Tide Taker came back. Tide Taker came back because it's just a solid two drop. Well. Oh, Friday makes sense because Thursday I'm doing the, uh, no, Wednesday. Wednesday I'm doing the, uh, the early access event. Oh boy, oh boy, this deck is is a lot of cuts. Get moved yet? Yes, I got moved uh over a week ago now. Um Mind Shatter can go, Magister can go. I think this is better than Baneslayer. It's a three cost. A creature with three with three or less. So we can get back Mentor. Ophiomancer. And that's pretty much it. I guess we can get back two of these, these guys as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We'd be a few cards shy of a mono white deck. Really wish we got a scrub land. Uh, I think we can get rid of Kalidus. Baneslayer can go. I think Gideon's probably better than Baneslayer. I think it's either one of these two. I think, I think history is better because we don't have a way to really... Like, we don't have a ton of creatures to take advantage of, of Gideon here. This is 25. 
played 20 planes. Uh, the plan is to hard cast Crystal Brand, but that might be too ambitious, actually. But I also like hitting it with Garuda, so. You don't like history? That's sad. I could see cutting it, though. This is 12 creatures plus Lingering Souls. Plus Gideon. Alright, let's see what this... Uh... Nope. Yep. Alright. I'm eating strange Japanese spicy fried chicken Cheetos. Yeah, those look weird when you showed us. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. <clears throat> Dude, Subway cookies are legit, though. Is the dog cam still on? Look at those, look at those little gentlemen. Delver of Secrets. Oh, sure, we're playing against Wiggy1. I wonder if this is a little Wiggy. Show me what you've got. Coalition Relic. This is a fascinating hand. Do I care about Coalition Relic? <laughs> Wiggy One. Isn't Wiggy One his, his spaceship that he rides around in? Little Wiggy rides around in the Wiggy One? It's one of these two. I'm going to take looting because they can actually do that. Whereas if they take a turn to play, uh... It's going to flip, isn't it? No. Like Boba Fett's, yeah, like Boba Fett flies around the slave one, so Willow Wiggy flies around in the Wiggy one. Still no flip, so we have two non instant or sorceries in your hand. Relic Mountain. Sounds good. I mean, Elspeth. Garuda. Garuda, Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take it to Garuda. Bahama. All right, Hero Blade Hold is good. We know they have these two and two non-instant sorcery cards, right? So that sounds good for us. Okay, three non-instant or sorcery cards. Which means they can't have like Wrath of God or removal spells. That's what I would assume. Uh, if if my, if by timeout corner you mean his bed because he has a regular work schedule, then yes, he is in the timeout corner. Thing in the ice. Okay, that is. What well, was one of your gentlemen? You played a planes. Okay. Okay. So now you have two. Now you have one. That's pretty good. I'm bounce my. What? Well, that's wild. <clears throat> you didn't bounce here a blade hold? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. That is a bold strategy.
Is he chatting about Raid in the Discord? Oh my god, he is. What a shit pickle. That's insane. Bottom you. I'll bottom both of these. Mm. Okay, so we're going to Jace. 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 So at least one of these is getting in there. What a shit pickle has been called. <laughs> so when you have Temporal Mastery and one non instant or Sorcery card, you probably put this on top, so you're just going to take your extra turn. Which I guess is why you... So you're going to reveal it to Delver and... That's fine. Uh, Mike B doesn't start his job until July 13th, so no. Not for like another two and a half weeks. So you know they're they're putting they put this back so they're gonna get it. Yep, they're gonna draw temporal mastery. They're gonna reveal it. Ready? Pew. So we're gonna go to twelve. Yep. <sighs> Actually, I also read that about earwigs because I was looking up when I first encountered an earwig in Florida. I was like, what is this? So I googled earwigs and uh, that's also what I found out that they they do protect their egg. I was like, that's kind of cool and it makes me really wish they weren't as kind of gross as they are because you know, that's really kind of neat. I just can't get into it? Well, that's too bad. I mean, it doesn't really give me much to go on in terms of, like, how to improve. Do, 
Oh, they just conceded. <laughs> I'm pretty sure our border's just too big, right? Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight creatures. Well, I'll be. I also miss the Franz podcast. I love doing that with Andrew. I'm actually going to clip that and send that to Andrew. Oof, this hand would be great if it had, like, two more lands in, in place of these two. It's the same fucking hand with one less card. Literally, like, this, 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 and this. Like, come on. Sure. Well... Oh, the duress came back. Why wouldn't you play Island first into Delver? That's weird. I'm getting rid of Firecraft because it kills Gonti, whereas the other one does not. This is a weird hand. Yep. Concealed Courtyard next turn would be great. Yep, that's pretty good. I will also accept a planes. And you're welcome to counter this if you'd like. Oh, they did not. All right, have a good night, buddy. So we're gonna have planes and one other card. I'm just gonna pass here. I'd like to double block this thing. Uh-huh. 
Let's see if you jump block in order to keep your Teferi alive. Seems good. Seems good. Wow. <laughs> Must be nice. God, Teferi is just a just a real cool card. Oh, dog camp still on point. Two gentlemen having a snooze. have one of the dogs in emotes right like we already have a hunter emote okay so they have two cards still hmm could be nothing Are they considering attacking Elspeth? Well, Hunter wasn't there, but we still have one of the three dogs, is my point. Yep, that's what I was thinking they were going to do. Oh, there's a lot of dogs. <laughs> so, let's do that. Oh, that was that was pretty good. That was pretty nice. So they have one card in hand. So do we, but we have an Elspeth. Wallathy and Wallulum. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all right, sure. Who's got the time? Hmm. How aggressive do we get? Wow! We hit a fractured identity? Boy. That's a gift that keeps on giving. I mean, we're just gonna keep knocking them for four, I think. Jimulum. That was your last card. Seems good. I guess they can... No, they can't kill Elspeth. Elspeth will go to one. But then she dies, I guess.
Mm-hmm. Man, I, my kingdom for a condemn. They have one blue up, huh? Well, I feel like I might as well make a soldier because Elspeth is going to get it this time. I don't know when we're going to be able to cast this. Unfortunately. But they have no cards, so... We have a lot of good draws that are not spells. Unfortunate. Not bad. Didn't we? Oh, they searched for it. I was like, didn't we put that on the bottom? <laughs> the answer is yes, we did. I was hoping they would activate Wandering Funeral, which would tap them out essentially, and then we can fracture the identity of the Glenlinger Archmage. I feel like we could really use a card like Garuda or Grave Titan here. Cavalier of Night would also be good. Oh, no attacks whatsoever. Nothing. Marsh Flats. Not necessarily what we're looking for here, but I will thin my deck. <laughs> what up, so salty? Good seeing you, buddy. Okay, so Katie's on overnights, which means she goes into work at 7 and gets home at like 9 a.m. So I've been trying to stay up later to see her when she gets home. I'll usually go to bed at like 6, sleep for a couple hours, and then see her when she gets home, and then we'll both sleep for a few more hours. And then I wake up at like 4. <clears throat> and um, my sleep schedule's been really messed up. Her being on overnights kind of means like I'm also kind of on overnights. Hmm. So you have one blue right now, huh? Wish I had a blue man to activate this, but that's okay. I mean, I try to. Usually I make it to like 6 a.m., then I'll sleep for just a couple hours, and then she'll wake me up when she gets home. 
We'll chat. Let the dogs out. And then I'll just go back to sleep when she goes back to sleep. And then she wakes up at like 5.30 for work. And I'll usually wake up around like 3 or 4. So... But yeah, that's what's been contributing to these late streams. And it's been harder because like usually I'll stream at like 2 p.m. Uh, my time, right? Like 2 p.m. my time has been my go-to stream time. But like... Oh, do you just have Kiki Jiki this turn? Because that'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, now you're just going to attack for four. Okay. Um... But if I start streaming at like 2, then like when she leaves for work at like 6, I'm not really going to be able to see her. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Well, we're at 5, so... Don't really feel like attacking is in our best interest here. They have 10 cards in the deck. We have 22. Where did all their cards go? Faithless Looting, Thirst for Knowledge. How did they draw so many more cards than us? So salty. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night, buddy. Good night, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is in Germany, buddy. Let me know. Let me know. Have a good one. Oh, that's not what I wanted to click at all. Oh, that's terrible. Can I undo? Cool. Totally got distracted there. Well, that's unfortunate. That's man. Streaming is hard, guys. Shrug it off, I guess. Okay, so they did nothing with their... Okay. Now you're going to attack Gideon. So I guess trade Spirit for Pestermite, which is pretty good. If they draw, like, Splinter Twin this turn, though... Yep, watch, they're going to draw this turn. Well, they have to attack Gideon, right? So, I get to kill the... No, they're not going to attack the actual one. Can you imagine if, like, me not forcing them to attack with Gideon is, if it decides this game? <sighs> sure. So, they have to have Slim Rider Pester. They had the, like, why, I don't know why they haven't used Faithless Looting yet, either. I think they probably just forgot about it. Uh, pretty sure they found it. So. Well, they do have to tag Gideon. Wow, that's so bad, dude. The one fucking turn. I give them one turn to keep this on board. <sighs> it's so frustrating. <laughs> Mis one misclick cost me the game. It's unbelievable. It wasn't even, like, a bad strategic decision. Like, if I made a bad play based on bad strategy, that's one thing. But I literally just clicked the wrong the wrong mode. Something that's never going to happen in real life. Well, I think they're still going to make enough to kill Gideon. And if we draw a removal spell, we can get rid of the Pestermite. So, we're not dead, but, like, it's super frustrating that the one turn... Like, we give them literally the one turn to draw Jace into Splinter Twin.
I don't even know why you tap the glow on your Archmage, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, rewarded. Two, three, four, five. Kill Jace first. counter spell oh they're cycling it okay sure I mean the opponent's welcome to fuming I literally gave them a free turn with Gideon so Oh yeah, you got it. You got it. That could be anything. This guy's a 4-5 lifelinker. When he dies, we get a Tithe Taker or a Tide Hollow Skuller back. Sure. They also have four cards in their deck to our 19. I literally don't actually don't know where all their cards went. Like I guess they drew a bunch with Teferi too. Um, I'm going to keep Seeker and Garuda. Oh, this mills them for four and just kills them, right? <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, just fantastic. I got a thing in the ice, guys. Okay, your move. Oh, we got a good games. Love your work, man. That's awesome. That's awesome, dude. He wasn't mad. We had a good time. Hey, everybody, Wiener. They did reverse big fan me. They were like, you know what? End of the game. Big fan. And I was like, I appreciate that. It's kind of like using your powers for good, you know?
Let's get lingering, boys. Another blue red deck. It doesn't matter what comes, the fresh goes better in life. Mentos fresh and full of life. Nothing gets to you, got a lingering souls. All right, so we got good, 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 good things for five. With Mentos fresh and full of life. Mentos, the fresh maker. Oh. You know what? Maybe they got Supreme Will. So I'll play this. And then I'm going to duress them. See what you got. Show me what you've got. No? Oh. 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 Get him in there. Get him in there. All four of those buddy boys. What? What is this? What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. What they did? They flame slashed another one? Wild. Just wild. Huh. I kind of just like getting Gideon down here. Gideon down here seems unbeatable. We could also Elspeth Conqueror's Death, this guy. We don't have anything in the graveyard, though, so I kind of want to wait. Okay. Okay, let's not misclick on Gideon again. And if they manage to kill Gideon, then playing Elspeth Conqueror's death just seems much better. Dog cam update. Two good boys. Actually, what I can do... Clip it a little bit. Uh, I can double block here. Or I can just kill it with Gideon. Puts Gideon to three. Yeah, I think I'd rather do that. I get to keep up two more. <laughs> oh, man. I, what happened to the Foo Fighters? I haven't heard from the Foo Fighters in quite a while.
pretty good. So, which do we use? Which of our many ways do we use to kill this Niv Mazoot? I think it's still this guy because, again, we don't have anything in the graveyard. Rick Astley did a cover of Everlong? That sounds wild, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're getting their seventh mana here. That's a little disconcerting. Wow, for the past seven years? That's wild. Arctic Avenger, serious question. If they toured in Nunavut, would they have a place to go? This is actually great because now we can play Elspeth, exile this, and we have a great target in the Gideon. Like, do you guys have an amphitheater or like a, an, an arena or something for people to tour? Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Oh, that was actually very good considering thing in the ice. Jeez. I mean, do you go to three though? <laughs> like, seems a little dangerous. Dangerous! They said no. They're like, I don't think so. So now it's virtually impossible for them to cast three spells because if the spells cost one, they all cost three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Yeah, that's virtually impossible to do. We could also just nug them for five. But considering we're getting them back next turn. Oh. Oh, fascinating. Well, we're definitely getting rid of that guy in case they have like the. See, this is why you don't just waste your your things. In case you have Kiki Jiki or Splinter Twin in hand, and you just want to, you know, get me. Two opponents in a row want to pester my me, guys. I don't like it. There are hotels to sleep in. The rooms have two beds. You rent the bed, not the room. $300 a bed. Oh, my God. As for venue, we have a community hall with capacity of 150. Our bar in town is capacity 67. Try to imagine how small my community is and then think way smaller than that. Oh, man. It's just so... Arctic Adventure, like, I love hearing about it because it's so wild and surreal to me because I'm... I've never lived in a location that small, you know? Okay, so you just steal this and gain a, gain a, gain a little life. So it's just such a wild... It's just such a wild, like... It's just crazy to me. I can't even imagine it because it's just... It's on such a small scale. And, like, there's so many things in everyday life that I rely on. Like, you know, two-day delivery from Amazon. Or, hey, I need to go to the pet store real quick to do this. Or, you know... Uh, let's go loyalty thank counter. You. Evil monkey, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, so we just... We just nug for a million here. And they're like, and, and you walk around town and they're like, hey, there's the Arctic Avenger. And you're like, that's correct, citizen.
our opponent is staging a comeback, guys. I don't like it. All they need is two more spells. Deep analysis is one of them. It's a little bit disconcerting. Okay. Never mind. That was a weird block. Like, they have deep analysis, go to five, and then they can play one more spell. And then bounce everything. Sure. I think we're dead now because they just steal Gideon, right? Well, that makes sense. Of course they have Kiki Jiki Splinter. Yep, this is two twin decks in a row. Because of course it is. Cool. It's <sighs> fucking annoying. Um I mean, there's like nothing we can even do here. There's no cards in our in our deck that really like. Malicious affliction actually seems good. Now I have Rick Astley stuck in my head, guys. Kajiki Jiki. <laughs> uh... Well, ideally, round three will not be uh, another Splinter Twin match. Tide taker. Another five drop. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, I want to keep both of these. Wow, that's wild. All the, uh, all the single target instant speed removal I can get. One second. Oh my god, they're snoring. Well, well, he is anyway. Um, Oh, he did. Well, we can't actually un we can't actually play Elspeth here because actually spells your opponent's cast. Okay, so they would literally have to they can't actually Splinter Twin here. I'm gonna have to two for one themselves if they want to kill Elspeth. So. Sure. <laughs> you got it. Come on, land. Nice. <clears throat> I think it's actually just Gideon kill this guy. Or we can get 4 or 5 on the board. I kind of like getting 4 or 5 on the board. Okay. Yep. Get rid of your stupid ass dragon. Get rid of that stupid ass dragon.
<laughs> glory bringer who really thought you liked him. Wow. I kind of want to just let them deal with this because if they untap, if they just go pestermite plus dude, it's like really rough. I'd rather keep with two removal spells. It's, I mean, it's so dumb because it's like they have the, they're in the situation where like if they have it and they untap, we did. See, now we're talking, though. They have four cards in hand. Oh, Big Gids just resolves. Okay, well. Star of Extinction. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Sure. Whatever. Super weird. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. What's this? What's happening? Oh, Niv Mizzoot. <clears throat> well, I'll be sure and not use an instant or sorcery against that guy. Really got a one mana spell? Definitely not letting him survive another turn. <sighs> nice hand. Well, this game turned around. I was really excited that they had to exile a card to play Force of Negation, but then they had four more cards, so that's cool. Alright, well this guy survived. That's kind of neat. Well, that's interesting. Never gonna run around and desert you. Oh, well, that's that's also neat. Lots of neat things happening here that I was not expecting. Pay your costs. Do 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 Get in there, little prowy boy. Do 
Come on. Come on. Zealous conscripts. You got it. Okay. Just that guy, huh? Okay. I will not block my own monastery mentor. This ma these matches have been real grindy. I would love to play Grave Dad, but I got a murderous rider to keep up. Remand. Oh boy. Let's just get everybody in there because if they block with zealous conscripts, I'll, I, I can murder a shredder. This guy. Oh. Okay. Oh. That's also fine. Sure. Yep. That's pretty good. Let's kill you now, because then we get to keep our monk. Seems good. It's gonna be a land. We were expecting it. I mean, I'm not really scared of Kikijiki now. I mean, unless they have Deceiver X Ark in hand and Kikijiki in those other two cards. Otherwise, I think Gravy Titan should be able to <coughs> close this bad boy out. Presumably. Unless they have, like... I mean, nothing they have gets haste. So, I think they're just trying to loot to see if they are not dead. And they are dead. Because the game... Oh, Kiki Jiki, sure. So you're gonna copy this, get another loot, and now you're just digging. <coughs> Okay, sounds good. What did they exile here? Mountain. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately none of these really do much. Kalidus could be decent just because he does gain life, but that's not really a big deal against an infinite combo. That was a good call with the uh, the Grave Titan, my dude. Uh, do, 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 do. They also don't have a ton of creatures, so it's not super relevant. Mayan Shatter could actually be decent if they don't have a Counterspell in hand.
probably better than however the Ophiomancer. Ophiomancer doesn't seem like it does much here. I've watched this stream long enough. I'm beginning to be able to read the simulation like you do. You just got to see them. You just got to see through it, man. It's only round two? Good lord, man. Junior? They don't even know if they're going to play first or not. I mean, they have seven minutes, we have 13, so... They can take as long as they'd like, really. what's happening right now. Alright, welcome back. We are uh, pause the game so we can let our opponent... They are playing first. Uh, I think we have to mull here. This we can keep. Send back a six drop. This hand is actually pretty good on the draw. We get to duress them, we get to read the bones eventually. Immortal Sun, don't care about it. Repeal, Compulsive Research. Let's get rid of Compulsive. You can have those other cards that don't have any targets. Island disappears. cared much for moonlit skies I never played seeker of the way I guess now they can repeal it which is sad but compulsive is still the better pick right sure <clears throat> do they hit a land no I like it oh wow <laughs> these are all these are all good cards Hmm. I think Glorybringer is definitely the scariest card here. I mean, Remand is annoying, though. Let's take Remand. Like, they have two turns before Glorybringer does anything. Uh, presumably, we'll draw a Black Source before then. pretty good that's a solid top deck but now we get to read some bones bottom both because we need lands all right seems good 
So next time we can play two guys or keep up malicious affliction. <clears throat> So I know these three cards. Um, we gotta get rid of this guy. Stroker's no counters on it. So one thing I'm wondering is if we play one of these creatures, like Tithe Taker, right? Oh, they can just spell Skite. They can just redirect, right? So. So hopefully they don't hit a land. They did. Glory bear gone. No blockers. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate because now we need a f we need a land in order to. I guess we do have a turn, right? So, getting Gonti here. Inferno Titan's probably the best hit. Immortal Sun is interesting here because we can't actually deal with that right now. Honestly, I kind of regret putting them to play on tap. We could have played Heartless and Seeker. Like I want to, I want to kill this with Heartless Act so that when they play Niv Mizzet, we get to go Cavalier of Night. Which I think is correct. Yeah, that feels bad. But. Very interesting. <sighs> cool. It's fucking insane. Two minutes on the clock and they're gonna actually win this game because they have immortal sun niv mizzet and they like drew perfectly with like flame slash glory bringer remand niv mizzet so of temptation cool i definitely think they can win in two minutes like they're gonna deal six here so you know we also have a blank in our hand that can't be activated because we missed a land drop, so. It's really frustrating. Fucking incredible, dude. Talk about having it all. Jesus fucking Christ. Cool. Please play the lottery. Absolutely incredible.
super frustrating. All right, well, decent, I guess. Just need to hit a fourth land, preferably a second black, because we have double black, double black, double black. Urza, Sahili. I mean, I really don't think I care about Sahili nearly as much as I care about Urza, so. Murderous Rider kills them both. <clears throat> you got it. So you have two islands and one blank. Well, not blank necessarily. What if I'm looking for a more expensive way to support the channel? Hmm. Well, it's a third land. It's not the. It's a fourth land route. It's not the fourth land we're looking for. But I mean, no, you can't pack negation or for force of negation or force of will this because you only have a Thank you. two islands in hand. <laughs> Arctic, Arctic Avenger with the gifted sub to MTG bot doing the lord's work there buddy okay so you did play a land so now the cards you know are the island and the blank from last turn and the card you draw off ponder sounds good Still? Okay. Okie dokie. Did they shuffle? They chose to shuffle, so whatever it is is random. Means they didn't choose a counter spell. Which means they don't have to have one from last turn or have one off the random card, which does not look like they did. It does not look like they did. Gideon Jerur. All right, let's see cryptic command. Show me cryptic, no cryptic command. Fascinating. So one, two, we're gonna go Sahili, your face, your face, your face. Battle cry always goes first. And then we're gonna put both at Sahili. So now we got three guys at Sahili that are all two. 
Would you say you're the most unlucky magic streamer? Well, I don't want to brag. I'll try to keep my humility about me. Sure wish I had a second black source. Boy, that would really change this game, wouldn't it? Boy, that would be just swell. Make sure you block the tide hollow color. I actually do love my my community is actually insane, and you guys make it definitely worth worth streaming. So you still take six. Sahili so still okay. Okay. Maybe chum block here. No. Get your card back. Get your card back. Do 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 do. Wish I had another black source. On my own. Do 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 do. All right, everybody, attack Gideon. Most of us are pretty cool, but some of us are weirdos to spam the chat with awful meatball pictures. Those those guys are the worst, man. I could I would ban those guys if I could, but I need the money, you know. <laughs> I just need the money. Yeah, that's fine. No one cares about Urza. Come on, Black Source. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Plus I gotta attack with the resto and the servo. Yep. Sure. Black source. A triple fucking black card. Fantastic. Ha ha ha. Wonderful. If we alpha here, how are we looking? I got three blockers. They go block, block, block. They take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They go to seven. Urza presumably survives. Could block a 3-4 pretty easily. This guy gets blocked by here. Can't play a single card in my hand. Oh, boy. They only have three powers, so they can't kill Hero. Gideon again. I dare you. I just want this Urza to have to come at Gideon. Why play many cards when few card do trick? Sea World. See, that's what I mean, Kevin. Are you talking about Sea World? Are you talking about Sea World or Sea the World? Sea World. Whales. Dolphin. China. See, what? No, see, that doesn't make any sense. Did they play a land that turn? No. Okay. Cool. I don't know. I was like, wow, your non-upheaval deck seems real weird. 
Like you make a bunch of tokens with Sah you got an Emrakul in here too? You make a bunch of tokens with Sahili and then like you just bounce them all away? Uh, I don't understand. Hey, a second black source. Hey, look at me go. So I'm gonna keep these three. I'll keep hero, murderous. You can get rid of island or planes, planes. Thoran, cavalier. Your one, two. Gaunti seems good. Ophiomancer seems kind of meh. Eh, we'll get rid of Ophiomancer. I feel like we just kind of restarted the game, only they get a wall in play. Sure. Danny, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Welcome back. Okay, that's nice. What's going on over here in Dog Cam World? <laughs> yeah, that episode's great because he's like, oh, didn't you know Toby was back? What? Stop. What are you. Yeah, go back. He's in the annex. Okay, sure. I'll go look. Toby, where are you? And then Toby's like, oh, hey, Michael. And Michael's like, no! God, no! Is this going to be the new regular streaming time? No, unfortunately. This is just my messed up time. Okay. I feel like I'm still ahead here with two really good four drops. By two, I mean three. But I'm sure my opponent will do something degenerate. They'll probably just draw people again, right? Did I just kill this thing? I mean, maybe EOT. We'll, we'll see what else they do. Because I kind of don't want to just not use my mana this turn. Plus, we have a Gideon to deal with future things. <laughs> and if they want to counter this, sure. <laughs> Jesus. Is this real? What's happening? funny you play against two Splinter Twin decks and this still seems like the most annoying deck we've played so far. Kind of funny how that works, right? <sighs> Danny, I'm sorry, buddy. Mana Tithe. Upheaval when you don't even seem like an upheaval deck. Weird random Emrakul. Oh, his deck feels like what I imagine having Kidney Stones feels like. What's Gaunti? I think Gaunti's still the strongest play. Oh, you have another third counter spell. I'm just, I don't care anymore. I'm just fucking do whatever you want. I mean, actually, we should have known they had re uh, Resto, right? Like, that was our bad. It's just super annoying.
Remember that time our last round opponent remanded the card we got with Gonti, so their own Inferno Titan went back to their hand and they also drew a card? That was pretty cool. Wow. Sure. Well, I guess we don't have to deal with Venser this game. God, they're going to upheaval next turn. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a two for one. I mean, like, cause they, it does uh, force of negation exiles the card. <clears throat> if we can draw a land, that'd be great. I'd actually love to get rid of a coalition relic here. Of course, again, we don't have anything in the graveyard, so. Still would really like an Elspeth Conqueror's death here. Actually, Conclave Tribunal is probably just fine. Well, we know they don't have Venser or Force of Negation, so let's make a dude and play around Mana Tithe. <sighs> cool. This has easily been one of the most annoying drafts I've, I've done. <laughs> two, two twin opponents and then this bullshit deck, whatever this is. Oh, man. Good times. That's funny. I would have probably went with Euro. Pack one, pick one, because I feel like that's just a card I enjoy playing more. Yep. Let's see what you get. Mystic Confluence. Well, thankfully, you only have three now. Just give me one land. Oh, shit. Solid gold. Yep, and uh, this is where we reach the go fuck yourself portion of the draft. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklinport, patreon.com slash franklinport, mana traders, freshly brewed every week with me and Rob, and uh, coolstuffing.com. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time, and hopefully the next one won't be as miserable. Thanks, guys. <laughs>